Sees crazy crossroads. There is reason like sage and time comfortable waiting for you, and there is. Everybody, it's Chris coming to you with another one of my crazy crossroads. I'm at a house out in Ocala, Florida. This house was um, uh, brought to us through uh, one of Joe and Rob's subscribers, so thank you for that. Um, Joe came out last night. He did a 30-minute challenge. He gave me the directions. I'm here. He said it wasn't too crazy for him, but you never know how that goes when I show up. So uh, let's see what we can get into. I'm gonna get right into it, guys. I'm here at the front door. It's off of another main road. There's a ton of cars going by, so I figured I'd just get right at it. Here we go. All right, guys, and I am uh, actually using my monopod tonight. I've been having problems with my other stand, so. Um, and as always, this is the new, um, Baton 2, the Olight. I'm going to be doing a video on this in a couple of days. They're going to be having a sale on this. And a bunch of other sales here coming up with uh, Black Friday. So, ooh. Sounded like a car just uh, got in an accident out there. So this is like a little Florida room in the entranceway here. Or enclosed porch. Okay. So forgive me for a second. I'm going to make a little bit of noise here, guys. Get this stand. Sorry about that. Now we're ready to rock. I'm just going to go through here pretty quick. Joe said it looked like this house was used for drugs or is being used for drugs. So which way do I go? It's pretty small. So. Placed up there like that. It looks weird. Looks like it could be used as a weapon. Hopefully not. You know what? I'm going to do this because we know what happens to me. Some Wow, that's big glass too. I don't need this. I thought I just heard something. I don't need this falling off and into me.
Yep, something banging. It's probably just road noise, guys. Since we're real close to the road. And I thought I heard a car crash before, but... This way. It's like one big circle in here. Which is what? Yep, something falling on the house. I hope this thing's not caving in. <laughs> This place is overgrown outside. There's a lot of uh, trees. I always love this wood plank look on the walls. So there could be some uh, tree debris falling on the house. Yeah, this place has been empty for a while. You can tell. Oh, look at it. No mosquitoes. Outside there's like a shed that's dilapidated too. Well, that was vanilla pound cake. Looks like it might have, might be a little out of date. Ugh. Gosh. <clears throat> oh, so. Oh yeah, look at this, so... Man, that's so sad. Needle. Spoon. Candle. People are cooking up heroin or something, shooting it into their veins. Nasty. What a sad, sad, sad thing. But it looks like it... Whoa! So this Hello? Hello? I just heard a car. 
just heard a car. That's my flashlight. Somebody there? truck pulling off. You hear it? Shut my light for a second. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Oh god damn. Excuse me. Alright. Uh oh. Okay. Hello? people all over the place out here. Oh, so there's people walking. Alright, there's like an apartment complex across the street. So I think, I think some of these druggies are not happy that I'm in this house. Alright, let me hang for a second. Let me hang for a minute out here because... I'm going to just use my flashlight to go through there. back corner of the house. Okay, there's another car turning. You can see its lights right now. I'm not shining the light on them or anything. I'm just kind of walking around to make it look like I'm looking for something, but all right, maybe this house uh, is more of a drug den than anything. Somebody back here? Okay, that car just pulled off. There's no one back here, but... Oh. Okay. This is way overgrown. Oh wow, look at this little flashlight. My goodness. It's awesome. Okay, so Sorry for the darkness, guys. So I honestly believe that that truck that was here um, that pulled out the first time, um, I think people are trying to get into this house to do their thing because, oh, <laughs> good thing my camera hit it. <laughs> my head would have been next. Um, yeah, this is uh, a little more dangerous than dealing with the unknown, that's for sure, so. I'm going to kind of sneak back around. I'm going to shut my light off in the front in case there's people out there. I'm going to try and sneak back in, uh, check out the rest of this house, and then uh, call it a night. 
if I can shut this light off. Okay. How the heck did I get in here? I remember ducking through all this stuff. I went a different way. There's another car that's turning into the um, apartment complex. So make sure nobody's around here. Okay, I think we're cool. Whoever it is probably knows that I'm in here and they're not coming in. That's a good thing. Okay, I'm gonna go back to where I was. I'll tell you what, if anything, it's kind of a cool, Urbex video. Oh, okay. Wow, look at this. This is where the sink used to sit. Whoever comes in here likes that steel reserve. Which I am in no way, shape, or form sponsored by 4 Loco or Steel Reserve. It's just what's here. Or 305s. Here's the funny thing about this. So the 305s are a generic, a generic cigarette. It costs like a couple bucks. The heroin, though, is probably like, I don't know, 20 bucks to get one injection. I'm, I'm guessing. But I know it's uh, a lot more than the 305 cigarettes, so why don't you just get yourself some Marlboros and stop doing the heroin. You'll save money and lives. This looks like it was all burnt. It's glass, burnt glass. This all looks burnt too, this pipe. The saddest part of this whole thing is there's drug use in here and then you see remnants of kids socks shoes clothing you'd hate to think that someone was hanging out in here with their kid doing drugs it's horrible It's like a little journal, but I can't make out what it's saying. It's from 2018. January of 2018. Oh, that's weird. Terry, tried to wake you, but a no-go. Need to get away. Won't be long. Terry must have been... Passed out from the drugs. It's a full can of chicken. Chicken breast. Wow. This is crazy. So sad. You know, the heroin addicts or the druggy junkies, all that. 
They don't really care about what their body looks like, but they all want to have nice nails. Lee press on nails, huh? Look at this one. Look, Terry had a monster pinky nail. Oh, there's something living inside this bottle. <laughs> it's a frog. Little frog, dude. There you go. Now you got a way out. Be free, buddy. That's really sad, guys. Really sad. <laughs> Super glue in a piss cup. Yeah, so there's definitely definitely some evidence of people that are living in this place, guys. So I have a feeling that truck that took off was um was one of the uh residents. There's some lamp oil for a lantern. That just makes me so sad seeing kids' socks and, I mean, this part of Terry, um, if you go on, it looks like a kid might have started to journal. Hmm. Well, it's the beginning of a journal, so. A little pillow over there, another spoon. But the good thing is, I think we're in the clear, guys. As I say that, you never know what can happen. Look at the size of that wasp. Wow. And that spider. Oh, my goodness. It's terrible that people actually would rather do drugs and live in these conditions and get themselves better. Get off this stuff and live a normal life. why because this house is right off of a main road I wonder how and why people are able to live like this without being chased out I mean you would think the cops would come and say you got to move on or Try and help them take them somewhere. I don't know. I'm just looking for more paraphernalia. I'll tell you what, whoever this kid is, they had a bunch of socks. Call this the sock house. Although this looks like this might have been a kid's little bedroom. This is a weird house. Oh, storage area. Another Dr. Pepper. 
pepper, more 305, some Irish Spring. I would have been so embarrassed. I was going to wear those same pants tonight. Oh gosh, would I have been embarrassed. Oh, well, my friends, this is, uh, this is not bad at all. Outside of the truck in that car that we're outside. It's been pretty quiet. So this might be one of those videos where you guys can tell me if you hear anything um, in the video. I don't know what this is. Yes, my friends, this is, uh, this is nothing. This is easy. I'm at 25 minutes. I'm sure this is not the most enjoyable video you're going to see. Because nothing is hurting me. Let's face it, guys. You guys got to love. It's like watching for the car wreck. No one wants to see it, but when it happens, they can't wait to look at it. I think we got a big uh, mosquito bite on my head. <laughs> ah, I see this. It's all stuff. The kid stuff really breaks my heart. Pretty neat. I kind of wish this was a little bigger more room to explore because I never really have much time to just sit and enjoy all the stuff laying around but it is what it is and I'm just about done guys I'm at 28 minutes so 
Let me see, do I have, I can't really see. I'm looking at myself. I think I got a big welt right here from a mosquito. Florida. You gotta love Florida. If you ever want to get bit by a real mosquito, come to Florida. You can put saddles on these mosquitoes. They're so big, they're ridiculous. So anyway, this was fun actually. It was enjoyable. I got a little nervous with that, that car because they were. I think they threw some stuff at the house. So, um, But all in all, this was a nice night. It's beautiful out. You get to wear a nice little light jacket tonight. It's been nice. Um, guys, everything's going good. Once again, thank you for all your, uh, your prayers for my family. Um, always, always grateful for that. Thanks for tuning in to all my videos. Make sure, I know you guys, most of you are all already subscribed to my buddy Joe. Um, so, Urban Ghost, Urban Exploration, Joe and Rob, check them out. If you're not, a, if, you're not if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do the same. Hit that like button. Hit the notification button. I've got a couple more videos that I should have out hopefully by the beginning of next week. Um, also, we're gonna have a flashlight video coming out that I have to do for the company. Um, just got cut off guys, but I'm probably gonna do a live video here shortly as well just to give you guys a little update on everything that's been going on. Um, down below, everything is in the description. Uh, all my merchandise, um, cameos, mailing address all that good stuff but uh guys thank you again i love you so much keep all the nice comments coming i appreciate everybody and i'll see you next time